Hey guys, I'm just continuing on from the last video. So what I've got here is I've just written down the equation summary. So I've written down the axial, the shear, and the moment equations for the two spans that we're considering. So the zero to two meters and the two to eight meter spans. So you can see axial is constant throughout. So we have a five Newton compression force throughout the entire beam. And that's just because there was only one, um, there was only one change in the axial loading. So now for the shear, we have a minus 10 for the first span. So we know that the shear at zero is just going to be minus 10. And the shear at two is also equal to minus 10 because this is not a function of X. It's a constant. So it basically it's, it's going to be a straight line. So the shear at, for our second span isn't, is, a, is however a function of X. We have this minus two X plus 13.33 term. So we know that, so if we work out V2, so that's the starting point. So V2 is just going to be equal to 9.33. And V2 of at eight meters is just going to be equal to minus 2.67. So now if you move on to the moment equations, we know the moment equation for zero to two meters is minus 10 X. So subbing in zero and two respectively, we'll end up with zero at the start. And at the end of this span, we'll get minus 20. And likewise, the equation for the two to eight meter span for the